So we're on to the first clip. So um, I'm going to go ahead and play it and see what I see because I don't even remember this one, right? Um, but I am going to try and record my clips from when the enemy is uh, spotted, right? Or someone pings an enemy. Um, I, my mouse was kind of desyncing here, so I was trying to sort it out. That's why I was standing still. So ignore, ignore this. I was using my inventory to get to my second monitor. Uh, my mouse like desyncs quite often. It's so annoying. So, anyways, um, let's see where we get up to. So, so here, okay. So I see the enemy, and I think what I was trying to do is is um kind of sync up with this guy right so I, I don't think i meant to drop off <laughs> but uh so i'm not sure if that's a, a hologram or not right and i missed now the cool thing is is i i'm very used to um capitalizing on guys people that aren't focusing on me so um what happened there right try and understand it is uh is this guy obviously could hear um this guy could obviously hear the footsteps of of my teammate and he was he was looking for him right so that's why he's clearly not on me so i know um from the stuff i've taught myself if he's not looking at me these are free free shots right and i'm gonna take i'm gonna take them all right and now you know why did that guy die there right he he simply didn't he didn't care about avoiding unnecessary damage um and i what i want is for you guys to not be this guy in in a sense that um we we are we are doing the same thing he does sometimes you know um we get lost in in our focus so try and f try and be very aware um of your situation because if this guy understood oh i'm getting shot he he would have just simply he would have still been alive you know Whereas my friend here, he kind of had no option to shoot. I mean, he could have ran away, but when the guy started shooting him, he was shooting back and there's nothing he could do, right? Uh, so again, I've made this a, a 2v1, which is what I want. So now um, I remember understanding that because this guy is so weak, I'm imagining this guy is probably telling his team he's one shot. So his team is probably going to rush him. And so even though I'm out in the open, um, my main concern is this guy. And that's why I watch to see where he's going, you know? <laughs> I rem I rem I'm remembering the clip now. Uh, okay. So instead of me going down this way and they have another angle, I'm trying to get the flank on them while still helping my team. So I can't really take the focus from him but I can actively try to to help out. That's why I uh, go up the left here and I, and I start hearing the enemy t uh, lifeline. So I know I'm going to have to deal with this guy, but I still try to get those free shots in because, you know, he's, he's not looking at me, right? And this guy's not going to be too much of a threat since I have, like, full health. So quite simple... But he gets downed anyway. I actually wanted to try and quickly finish him, but now that I can see this guy, I've got to, uh, I've got to kind of um, pressure pressure him because I I can't if I so if I walk in front of this structure here, he's probably gonna just shoot me for free while I'm trying to down his friend. So now I can't I can't do that right. Um, I just kind of want to point out one thing. I mentioned it in, in one of the threads I wrote. Um, with the scout, right, I'm trying my hardest to not track my shots, but more place them in a general area that the, the guy is going to be in. So that's I know I was doing that here as well. So 
I think a good example is here. So clearly they're they're not shooting at me, so I get to shoot at them, right? But again, here's another thing I'm very aware of. Um, they can't really down me from this far unless their shots are super on point, right? And I'm risking, because I know I've got a teammate to the left of me and I've got a teammate to the right of me. So I'm thinking they this position for them isn't that great. Right, if we all start shooting at them, they're shooting at him. I got an angle on them, so my guy on the left must have an angle on them too. So that's why I'm kind of—I I don't know what to call it—but I'm, you know, not backing down. I'm kind of hard focusing them right now, and especially getting that down. So here, I feel—I remember I was gambling in my mind. I was like, if he—if he hits a really nice headshot, I could go down. But if he hits another one, maybe I'll. I'll actually start to take cover, right? And here's that thing I'm telling you about. I'm not really caring about this guy moving left and right. I'm just aiming in this line here and just shooting shots whenever I see him, thinking, you know, hopefully I hit him. And uh, and I do, right? And that, that gives us the, you know, this guy was flanking. I wasn't even paying attention to him at the, at the time, but obviously that gained the kill. Um... And one thing I'm going to start pointing out, because I really want to write about it, is being able to read your opponents. And um, the only thing I can show here is when we get this down, look at the exchange, how it ended. So even though he went down, we know this guy almost died. He knows that guy almost died, and there's a good chance he's... I have a pinging like crazy, right? Saying there's enemy, there's enemy. Or he's telling his teammates he's one shot, which means I'm on high alert for that guy. And that's a that's a very good place to start when you're fighting. Is um, get used to the normal, kind of the very common reaction people have to successful damage, right? Keep that in mind. I'm going to show that in, in a lot of the other clips, most likely. All right, take care.